Steve Woomer, Smoke, and Joe. Mark Tate looking for his second Gold Cup in his history of driving. Jim Hart. Steve and David out of Florida driving that boat. Mike Hansen in the U1 Miss Budweiser. Bernie Little's boat out of Lakeland, Florida. Will be 15 seconds back in the trailer position. Here they come. The flag is out. And there's the start of the race. It's a clean start for all of the boats on the clock on the Detroit River. T-plus looked like he was going to try to grab the lead on the outside. There's from inside the cockpit of the T-plus with Stephen David. He's got a clean shot all the way down the Detroit River. There's Smoke and Joe. Mark Tate on his left-hand side as you look at it from inside the cockpit. Now above in the helicopter, we can see that they have really tightened up the front end of this field. It's the tide and the inside first. Second place is... The Smoke and Joe's, and right in the middle is Mark Evans in the Exide One. And for the moment, Exide One has taken second place. So it is still the tide boat in the lead. Look at Smoke and Joe's on the outside. Mark Tate, who, as we've said several times during this race day, knows this river. It is his hometown course. He is getting good speed from the Smoke and Joe's on the outside, but the tide boat has really set the pace. Nate Brown doing a great job of driving. Now second place is Smoke and Joe's. That was a little bit of illusion there. Smoke and Joe's has not quite taken over first yet. It is even Steven as they come down to the number one turn again. Tide on the inside. Smoke and Joe's on the outside. X side one in the middle. And we've just heard word that the X side is being penalized an extra lap. He's going to be relegated to the back of the field, even in back of the trailer Budweiser, because he cut off and wet down the boat you see dead in the water. That, the Pico's American Dream. Dave Bilwock out of the race because of the wet down. Good shot from inside the T-plus now riding in fourth place and trying to come up on that field. It looks like a long distance away, but when you realize these boats go the length of a football field in one second or less, you can understand the distances are relative in this sport. There is the battle up front, and it is neck and neck on the turns. The yellow boat is the Smoke and Joe's inside. The orange boat is the Tide. Nate Brown is driving that like he's never driven before. What a battle in Gold Cup history. Side by side, Sponson the Sponson. T-plus has now moved up to third. Fourth is the Budweiser. Fifth by way of the penalty is X side one, and a boat that's down and out of the race is the Pico's American Dream. Now it looks like Smoke and Joe's is going to take over the lead for the moment, but I'll tell you what, great credit goes to Nate Brown. He has really held that boat in competition all day, and look at him challenging for the lead in the Gold Cup. Nate Brown on the inside to the right of your screen to the left. It is Mark Tate and Smoke and Joe's, you can see in the background, they're trying to restart Pico's American Dream. It does not look good. But meanwhile, Smoke and Joe's has taken over the lead again. Mark Tate trying to put some distance between himself and the second place boat. He doesn't want to take any chances. He knows Nate Brown is in position to bite him. It seems that the Smoke and Joe, as we look at the fifth place Miss X side, has got the shoot. Whoa! He lost the engine counting. That'll cool the engine down. He's currently in fifth place, that being Mark Evans. As we said, Smoke and Joe, our leader, has the shoot speed on the tide, but the tide with Nate Brown takes him in tight. As we look at the fourth place, Miss Budweiser, Mike Hansen inside the cockpit. He's getting a rough ride. Now, he was the trailer boat. He started 15 seconds off the front line, and for him to already come up in the fourth place is a good sign. Mike is driving that boat beautifully, and this is his first real championship run in that boat. Still out in front, and another one of these flawless rides for the Smokin' Joes, Mark Tate. You know, his dad was a longtime hydroplane racer. I say was, he still is. About a week or two ago, he was still racing in his 60s. Mark Tate, ladies and gentlemen, takes home the Gold Cup here on the Detroit River, but the race is not over. Here's second place. Here's the Tide. And look at the third place battle. On the right is the D-plus. Look at him coming on the outside, Budweiser. Budweiser takes third place at the wire. Fourth place at T-plus. What a Gold Cup this has been. And Dave Vilwak, who finished first three times out of four races today, sits dead in the water. There's your...